Put that at the end, honey. Not right now, okay? Not right now. That's part of the lesson, though. So if you're really good, then I'll let you do that part longer. Okay? Sit straight. Sit straight. Put your feet down. Jump. There you go. Wonder if I can. No, I found it. It is good. Okay. So yesterday, when I asked you. What would you, 10 minutes, okay? So yesterday Ooh. when I asked you what would you like to learn, what subject you like that we've been talking about, you said do science, right? So can you guess what subject we're going to talk about? Can you guess what subject we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about this. Yes, you guessed it. C, I, K, N, C, E. Yeah, and we're doing science because you asked for it, right? So we're going to talk about changes and also about force okay. so two different things so the first thing is about changes there are two types of changes one is physical change and the other is chemical change okay, so those are the two types of forces so how many types of forces are there how many forces are there Five forces? No, I said there are, see, there are two types of forces, no? physical and chemical. That's it. There's only two, no more. How many types of changes are there? There are two, that's right, there are two types of changes. So, let's first talk about physical change. Physical change means just, uh, uh, just the shape of it changes, you know. There's no change to the type of object. So, Mm, let me see what's a good way to explain this. Okay, so in a physical change, the type of matter stays the same. So paper is kind of solid. When you cut a piece of paper, it's still going to remain as paper, right? So when you cut paper, it's called a physical change. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when you cut paper, it's called a... Little later. Avata Ashi? I still later. So when you when you cut paper, it's a sign of a physical change. It means it doesn't change its state when you do something to it. So, so when you cut a piece of paper, what type of a change is it? It is a P H Y S I C A F. So what type of change is it? F Say, say, physical. Can you say physical? Physical. Physical change. And what's the other kind? Chemical. 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 Yeah. So then if you cut paper, then it's a physical change, right? Cut. What happens when you burn paper? Hmm? So when you burn paper, it changes its state, right? Because it's no longer like a solid. Right? It interacts with the air, the oxygen in the air. So what gas does it interact with in the air to burn? It interacts with what gas? O, X, Y, G, E, N. That's right. So it interacts with the oxygen, it burns and it becomes like this black powdery thing. So it complete change of state, right? It changes. It changed its color, its shape, its size, its looks, and feel, everything. That's called a chemical change. So when it's a change to state of matter, change in state of matter, then it is a chemical change. Okay? So if it's a change to state of matter, what type of change is it called? C H E M I C. Chemic A. Chemical B. That's right. So, I'm going to give you an example. Okay? Think about Play Doh. Play Doh. So, what are you going to think about? What are you going to think about? Blah. Yeah. So, suppose I take Play Doh and I crush it. Okay? And make it into a flat patty. Show me how you would do a flat patty. That's right. Suppose you take a round plate or you crush it into a flat patty. What type of change is that? Now I'll give you a hint. 
only the shape changes. The state of matter doesn't change, it's still solid, right? So what type of change is that? Is it P for physical or C for chemical? What type of change is that? Is it P for physical or C for chemical? It's P for physical. That's right. So, you're right. Now let me think. When you... Mm, I have to think of something. When you freeze ice, uh, when you freeze water, it actually becomes a solid. But what's interesting about that, you would think that's a chemical change, but it's not really. Yes. You know why? Because this is a little change. Even when it changes state of matter, if it's easy to bring it back, that's still a physical change. So actually freezing ice is a physical change. But if you cook food, okay? Suppose you cook potato. And then if you cook potato, it's going to change the feel. It's going to get a lot softer, right? It's going to change color. It's going to get a little more translucent, means you can see through it, right? So when you cook potato, it completely changes its look and its taste. And it's not possible to make it into raw potato again. So what type of change is that? Complete change of state. So what type of change is that? Is that a P for physical or C for chemical change? What type of change is that? Physical change? No, that's not a physical change because then you cannot convert the potato back to raw potato. If that's the case and you're changing the, the taste and everything, not just the shape. Shape doesn't change much. Right? Feel changes. So, for example, what happens when you cook, uh, let's think, spinach. When you cook spinach, you got a bit. So when you, did I start the timer? Yeah. So when you cook spinach, it changes shape, it changes size. Right? So what type of change is that? Is that a P for physical or C for chemical? When, when spinach, Rahul, Rahul, when you cook spinach, is that P for physical or C for chemical? Because you're changing the shape and the look and the taste, everything. So what type of change is that? That's not a physical change, that's a chemical change. Because you cannot turn it back to its original type. Okay? So let me think. So if you... Uh, turn around. Let's think. If you take a piece of shirt your shirt and you crush it like that. Is that P for physical or C for chemical? The shirt doesn't change. You can always turn it back by ironing it. So when you crush your shirt, is that P for physical or C for chemical? You tell me. Physical. That's right. Okay? So that's a physical change. So now we're going to talk a little bit about going to talk about force okay so the first thing we'll talk about is let's see here one more lesson okay so what i want you to do is this one okay you've got three balls on the table wait 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 put it down put it down now you've got three balls right They're made of different materials slightly different sizes what is this? Oh, honey. <laughs> I don't know that, Raja. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. Sit straight. Mm -hmm. so, what is this cup made of? It's made of P. 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 L. Pl. It's made of. So the first cup is made of P. L. Pl. P. L. P. You did P already. P. L. A clap. P L A P L A P L A. You're close. You're close. S. That's right. S. Then you're close. T. P L A S T plus T. P L A S T I. You're right. I. P L A S T plastic. You one letter off. You one letter off. One letter off. Plastic. Yeah. Plastic. Right. So that one's made of plastic. What is this made of? What is that made of? That's made of S. S. What is it made of? Swallow. What is this made of? This is made of S. 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 
extra? Yes, you have to spell it as what's the next letter? Come as what? S then S T okay. S T S T E E S T E E come on you can do it. S T E E you already did E E S T E E L that's right. Steel. And what's this made of? What's that boy made? Oh, let's finish this one question and then we go take a break, okay? What is this cup made of? That cup is made of what? You one letter of. You one letter of. G. G. Come on. G. On that, on that. One letter of. G L. G L. G L. Aim slowly. Good. G L A. G L A. What? Move your arm back if you get stuck. Start over. G L A S. And. G L A S. And what's a G L A S? Yes, that's right. Okay, go take your break and then we'll continue this. Okay? Go ahead.